So, into my yard walks a city type, you know the sort, a bowler hat, pinstripe suit. He asks me if he can see over the yard, so I show it to him. He then shoots at me some very good questions, which surprises me. He seemed to know quite a bit about it. Then, as he comes up from the galley, right, he turns to me and he says, I say, Rolf, that kitchen's rather small, isn't it? <laughs> Ah! The good-looking member of the family. Evening. Yeah. I've got some news for you. <laughs> well, if it's bad, save it till tomorrow. It's, it's not. Oh, oh, excuse us, eh? Tom? Yes. He just looked in at the office. He's coming in with us. He said to tell you his solicitor be in touch. We're out of the woods, then. Looks like it. What? <laughs> Hey, lucky you found a buyer for his boat so soon. That clinched it. Yes, it was lucky. Oh, there's my girl. <laughs> hey, this calls for a celebration. Uh, large scotch, please. Uh, gin and tonic. Ice and lemon. Thank you. Maybe I should stay with Mum. Oh, come on. They're always having rows now. He doesn't usually slam out of the house. She's not going to cut her throat over it, Leo. You said you felt like a party earlier. Yes, I did earlier. Before Mrs Urquhart phoned. So that's it. I'm relying on you to help me out with Abigail. Oh, thanks. I suppose she may have improved since we last met her. I think so. Yeah, at finishing school. She might be a raving beauty with a sparkling repartee. So why does she need me to take her to a party? I thought you'd gone for good. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have slammed out like that. Well, I dare say I asked for it. Scotch. Oh, please. Thanks. Look, Tom, about this boatyard business. Darling, I can see the attraction, but just think of the risk involved. Now, I'm sure if we could talk it over, you would understand why it's I It's too to... late for that. I've already committed myself. You've done what? That's where I've been just now. You've thrown everything away? I know there's a future in it. It's been staring we're right now. To Julia's party. You say it was okay to borrow the car? Yes, well, we'll, um... We'll see you later. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've got something to tell you both. As of tomorrow, I'm going into partnership with Jack Rolfe. So that's what you were doing at the Mermaid? Mm. I bought a share in the yard. Ah, with your golden handshake? Mm, that's great. Isn't it? Well, I... Oh, yes, great. I mean, what could be better than throwing all our security down the Jan. drain? No, come on, tell them! It's not just his redundancy money he's thrown away. He's sunk all our savings and our investments too. Not to mention the boat, the cars and anything else that's worth it. you're not selling house. the fish! Oh, yes, he is. Dad? Tell me it's not true. I'm afraid so. Avril Ross found a buyer. better go and talk to her. Oh, yes, yes. You're very good at talking to people, aren't you, Tom? After the event! Mom. Would you like another drink? It's only me. Go away! Oh, come on, Lynnett. How could you? You think it was easy for me? I love that boat as much as you. Why? I did warn you, sweetheart. I didn't think you meant it. I thought you'd get another job and everything would be all right. There is no job I want. There's nothing I'm likely to be offered. The boatyard was providential. Then sell something else. There is nothing else. Even with all my assets, I can only just raise enough. Well, we could move to a smaller house. Surely then. No. 
Why not? We don't need five bedrooms. I suppose Mum wouldn't agree. I wouldn't ask it of her. It's what she ever thinks about, isn't it? The bloody house. Yes. She's put a lot into it. So did you into the flying fish. Oh, Lynn, it's hardly the same thing. This house has been your mother's life. That and you two. And sailing's been my life. Well, at least you won't have to fork out for me anymore. I've got myself a job. Of sorts. Yes, I know. Ken told me. It's one of his garages. Well, I know it's not what you had in mind for I me, Since but... when would I want that? She's very upset. Are you surprised? She doesn't feel like going to the party, Leo. So I'm afraid you're on your own. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Mrs. Urquhart. He's here, Abby. Uh, will you come in for a drink first? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, you'd rather get cracking. <laughs> uh, Lynn not with you? No. Uh, well, doubtless she has her own escort. This is frightfully noble of you. Uh, only, Abby doesn't know any young people here. The minute we moved to Tarrant, she was off to Switzerland. If you could just get her launched. Shove her out to sea and watch her sink. Hi. <laughs> Isn't it dreadful how we live with boats here? Even our metaphors are nautical. Shall we get going? Yes, right. Well, have a lovely time and um, oh, don't worry about being late. I'll know she's in good hands. Goodbye. So, how was Switzerland? Claustrophobic. Worst mountains. Most other things. How'd you get on skiing? I fractured my tibia first time out. Not luck. Not really. I loathe sports. Can you pull up? What? Can you stop here? What's the matter? Might as well drop me off. I don't want to go to this party any more than you want to take me. <laughs> to my bank manager, Laurie Manners. Laurie, Laurie Manners. <laughs> May he now rest in peace. Mm. You should have brought him along. Laurie Meadows? No, no, Tom Howard, see the deal. Had to get back to his family. Mm. He's a family man, Tom. Yes. He was married. That's what? What? Your fellow. Dad. Well, that's what I gathered. But then you still haven't told me exactly what happened. I wish I'd never told you anything. I didn't think to really look. The minute you walked in the yard, I knew something was wrong. You looked bereft. Same way you looked as a little girl when I... When I told you your mother had died. I must be going, Dad. And so should you. 